Hey everyone, good morning. I hope you're well or good afternoon or good evening whenever you're watching this. Today is Monday, the Monday the 11th of April. The time is 12.15 and I'm gonna go to the gym. I woke up about an hour ago. My shift today in A&E is from three in the afternoon until midnight, which I kind of love. It means you get a lion, it means that you can wake up and then go to the gym and then come back and have lunch and then go to work and I don't mind finishing at midnight because to be honest if I want to go out at midnight I'd still have friends who are out if I'm, if I'm being chill if I'm being honest I'd not even out out but like chilling out so I like this shift and it's like a Monday and Tuesday if it was a Friday or a Saturday maybe it'll be like less of an ideal shift but I like this one um look who's here Hello everyone! <laughs> She's, that's my mum, she's steaming um, my dad's jumper for her. Um, our house is so messy right now because basically we've had like all of this that's been repainted. I don't know if you guys can tell from the camera. But we've repainted the whole of the ground floor and then we're starting upstairs now. So Sol's room is done. Um, and then we're like basically refurbishing it slowly gently but it's been we've been living in this house for literally 20 years we moved in in 2002 so it was time that it got a little a little kiss of love um so the house is really messy but anyway i'm gonna go gym now you guys are coming with me and then we're gonna come back and eat and get ready and shower for my ship was up with me today but in the end on that stairmaster I actually could not breathe <laughs> like I did my 10 minutes that I always do but it wiped me out and um, it really wiped me out anyway I did I did, basically did strength training today so I did resistance band um, circuit for three rounds about four exercises 15 reps each and then I did my ab circuit and then I did um, 10 minutes of skipping interval so I'd wait till my heart rate really got up and I could feel it because it hurt my chest then I would stop and wait for my heart rate to come back down and then I'd skip again and I'd do that for 10 minutes and then I ended with 10 minutes on the Stairmaster so overall I worked out just under an hour I have to rush back home eat shower and then get to work um, I feel like tomorrow when I'm on the same shift I'm gonna come to the gym an hour earlier just so that everything afterwards isn't so rushed um, um, but you know when your head, like when it's the first time you're like adjusting to a rotor, you overestimate how much time you have. You're like, oh my god, it sounds like I've got so much time. Um, but I don't. So anyway, let's drive home. Um, and this weather today, I just, I can't cope. It's so beautiful. It's 18 degrees. Wow. This is the April heat wave we've been waiting for, guys. So, um... My mum made fish yesterday, well last night for dinner, and we had one left so I'm having that now with some coconut rice. It's the basmati pouches and it's actually really nice. I think it's coconut and jasmine or just coconut or just jasmine, I don't know. To be honest, it's really nice, it's the blue packet. And she's made salad shirazi, I'm going to take half of this with me to work and the other half I am going to eat now. I didn't get a chance to change because the food was already ready when I got home so I'm just like screw it. I'm gonna eat now and then I'm gonna change, well shower, change, get ready for work but I've literally got 15 minutes to do all of this. So I'm just gonna have to shower now and then do a hair wash tonight instead of now so just wash my body now. Morning, it's day two of this week aka Tuesday and I've woken up earlier to go gym and I'm wearing this Bowen t set. I've just got this denim jacket on top because the weather is so good in London right now. And no makeup on and my hair is so greasy. I've slicked it back. So I woke up earlier so that I can, I actually listened to my own advice. So that I could go to the gym, come back 
and shower, wash my hair and make my food. Um, my family have some chenja kebab, which is like lamb fillet kebab, left over from yesterday. Um, and my mum makes like fresh salad every day. So I'm going to take that for my dinner at work. And I'm going to make something today. Last night in bed, I was just watching Korean YouTube and like the Korean YouTubers I watch, they all just like show what they eat. And oh my God, it just makes me so hungry. Like I'm sitting there in bed at like 2 a.m. thinking, oh, I would love some ramen. But obviously like I don't do it, even though I'd love to do it. Um, and they're all so slender, even though like they eat like really, honestly, if I ate what they ate, I would be like obese. Um, so yeah, they get away with it, luckily. Jeans, some people's jeans, honestly. Um, so anyway, let's hit the gym. Someone said in my last video, by the way, your teeth look so straight and it just made me so happy, yay. Uh, my Invisalign, I think that's four weeks to go. Uh, Dr. S Dentistry, uh, genuinely look at that. How straight is that? And even from the top. Now you can never say you didn't see inside Persian Bunny's mouth. If any of you guys were thinking that. Anyway, I'm really chatting rubbish now. Let's go, it's 12 o'clock. Okay, so I went to the gym and bumped into my friend Andrea. We like made friends in the gym. So we're gym friends if you'd call it that. Um, but anyway, she had just started her legs and like leg training session and she's incredible in the gym. I think she's training to be um, a PT. And she was like, do you wanna train with me? And I was like, oh, incredible. So I've just had the most amazing like leg day session. I feel like my legs feel like jelly. And yeah, it was like legs and butt and it was really, really good. Like I just feel like, you know when you train with someone, like I hadn't had a PT like professional training session in like um two years three years and i just feel like you know when you feel like you were doing it all wrong that's exactly what i feel like um but yeah i'm gonna go home now shower eat something head off to another shift in amy <laughs> um i'm so late but i basically made this chicken um this is what it looks like it's like a seasoned jerk chicken and i am eating while standing up i guess you need to run Washing my hands for so long. I need to wake up earlier on these shifts. And it's boiling because it's just come out of the oven. My mouth is on fire because it's spicy and boiling. I'm a ticket to the ring. You say you see me for TV. We read the Rolls Royce to double up. Rolex that cost me blood in the bar when I switched up. Didn't even have a choice. Ooh la la. So stop. Look who's come to join. Sina has shoulder pads for days. Shoulder pads from the 90s. You I know, you know, I only realised this coat has oh, shoulder pads once I wore it after I bought it. Literally, I was like, oh, but I like it. <laughs> <laughs> it's 7.10am. I'm off to a Pilates class before my day at the clinic. Um, I need to run, but I'm gonna try and film it for you. So this is my second week doing Pilates. This week we've done two gym workouts, one Pilates. Um, I've re eaten like relatively healthy as well, so I am feeling better in myself. I'm not like restricting myself. Last night, you guys saw for dinner, me and Sol split like a burger and had a bit of fries with it. Um, so I am being healthy, but I am not restricting myself. So it's pretty more just about feeling good about myself feeling stronger and making um just these healthier little steps for me Good morning. Oh, this spot is actually an inconvenience. It is a Wednesday morning. I haven't picked up the camera since last week. And I feel like I have a valid reason. I have been working for, today will be 10 days straight. 
and my next day off is friday so that'll be 12 i want to say 12 days straight or like 13 days straight it'll be anyway whatever it is um i'm usually fine with that the problem is that i had nights on the weekend so whilst everyone was enjoying the bank holiday weekend and the sun I was working nights so it was really hard for me to pick up the camera to film because I was just working non-stop in A&E so uh, when I got home like I was sleeping and there was just no content for you guys I'm sorry um, but yeah today I've got a normal shift and in the morning I have self-development time so I've just been on my laptop doing um, a lot of like the stuff in my portfolio that is coming up um, so just been sorting that out and now i'm going to have some breakfast i have work from 12 30 to 5. usually the shift is from um 8 to 5 but obviously because i have the self-development time i start at 12 30 which is lovely so yeah i just woke up done this stuff gonna have some breakfast get ready to go to work um and yeah come have some breakfast with me so <laughs> Oh my god, my hay fever is so bad. Like my ear is itching, my nose is running. Um, not cute look. But anyway, here's my breakfast. I have brown toast with avocado and fried, like scrambled, not fried, it's scrambled egg whites. And then I made myself an iced latte. I love these Starbucks cups. I don't know why I'm so obsessed, but I don't know why my family members keep losing the straws. So this is one straw that I have from another one. And then the other one's like missing its lid. Ugh, I don't know. Um, so this is just like a weird one that you can't buy the combination of, but like I think the original came with a multicolored, like a really cool straw. Um, yeah, it matches the sunshine, this drink. some shopping I the Louis Vuitton bag isn't mine it's Dinah's but I'll ask her to show you um, what it is that she got um, and I collected it for her and then I got a bunch of stuff from Zara so I'm gonna do a little haul for you when I get home so I've just got home and I've changed for the gym. Also, remember my last vlog where I was telling you guys I'm taking my health a lot more seriously. I've actually been doing that and I'm very proud of myself. Come mum, sit. My mum wants to see what I got from Zara. I said I would show both of you guys at the same time. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I have been taking my health really seriously, Mum, haven't I? I've been eating a lot healthier. Oh yes, a lot. Like literally yesterday was the first time I had something a bit naughty and I had chocolate a little bit. But I feel like even a little bit of chocolate in moderation is fine if you want some chocolate. Of course. So, okay, so Mum, you want to love this. You know I have the corset top for this. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. hold it like this, hold it, okay. Oh my it God, goes matching I love it. With this. Ooh, la la. My mom, she am she my mom loved matching sets when she was my age. Yes. Maybe when you were younger than me now, because when you were my age, you got married. Still, I was your age as well, anytime. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like your fashion must have changed when you became a mum. Oh no, never. No, never ever. You, you know, can see I'm, still, I'm wearing, I'm still in the clothes. <laughs> yeah, but like Sometimes. you're not, you're not like, you're more like cute. You're, uh, you're more cute style. You're not sexy, like whoa. Yes, I'm whoa. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next. I got a lot of tops because I felt like I need more tops. I, I have enough love this. I 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 can buy for myself one size bigger. And then look at the back of this top, it's open. Oh, wow. You like me. Oh my God, I love this. It's really nice. Yeah. Mm, perfect. And then this one I just thought, I don't have enough long dresses and I love long dresses. And it's very suit you. Yeah. So basically, the other night, Sol and I decided to book a trip to Monaco because I'm off for a long weekend. So we're going, not next weekend, the weekend after. So some of these stuff I could even keep and wear, wait to wear in Monaco. Yes. But this one, it ties in the side, so it gives you like a nice waist. 
um, but it's just very comfortable. You know, if you want to wear this with sandals. No. Are you sure? But yeah, I think Monaco will be like 24 degrees maximum. Hmm? Oh, my mum and dad are going to Bodrum because we booked it for Mother's Day. And Father's, and Day. Father's Day. So we did it joint in between the two dates. So they are going to Bodrum as our gift to them. Anyway, next up, this these shorts. This is beautiful. Do you not think it's too short? This is what I wanted to wear tonight, maybe. This is perfect. Yeah. You have to some things. You have, um, some of the clothes you, you have, have to, to try it on. Try on. If I'll not, try it on and we'll see tonight. Yes. But this is the matching top for us. It's beautiful. In time, it's beautiful as well. Yes, of course. So the, like the, <laughs> the top is like this and the shorts go like that matching. Beautiful. I think that's so and cute. This like, colour is suit you. And it's very soft. Mm. And it's good for like London weather. It's knitwear, it's but it still is yeah. soft. Next up is this top. This is so pretty that's as really well. nice. I just thought with jeans, it's very comfortable and pretty. It's and I just beautiful. like all the colours of everything that I've chosen. Yes. Very nice. Um, then we have very yeah to be fair it didn't have a lot but i feel like i picked up everything that was mm. good then i've got this one. Oh wow i thought this one with a very beautiful bra underneath and a black leather skirt yes no or any any no black and is a match with your white skirt jeans as well is no it yes no when you try wear. you will see okay and then <laughs> last top is this oh, one. Oh, that's lovely. I just thought it's very cute bandeau. I got all of these items in a size small. I'm gonna go to the gym now. To oh. <laughs> Tonight I'm going to Bagatelle. I'm going with my three of my really close friends, um, Amelia and Nabia, who I work with, who you guys saw in my last vlog, they like threw me a little surprise birthday party, and also my angel girl, Natalie, she's a very good friend of mine, we actually met on the plane to Ibiza last summer, and we just hit it off, and we've been so close since, um, but they've never, oh actually, Amelia's met Natalie before, but Nabia hasn't, um, but I just know that we'll have such a blast, like we're going to have such a good time, we're going to go dinner and dance and that's all I really want. I've been working for 12, 13 days straight and in the middle of those 13 days there was some night shifts so honestly I feel like I don't mind working every day, I feel like it keeps me motivated but the night shifts in the middle of it I think was just the, the bit where I was just like this is just a bit yes. too much. <laughs> you like the skirt? Mm. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to a break. Anyway, let's hit the gym. We got this. This is the outfit that I'm wearing, by the way. These gym leggings are Bowen T. This is a very old Forever 21 bra. And this is a pretty little thing hoodie that is part of a set. And no, I don't have abs. It's just the lighting in case some of you guys are going to stay. But yeah. to go home I've shot my content I need to go home and edit my vlog <laughs> look at me with chopsticks and my mum is going out to lunch with Sina that's why I'm I having said I don't want <laughs> in the car I'm having wasabi and I got like this bigger set because I was like my mum needs to have at least one baby no honestly yeah, I want to go out for the girl <laughs> <laughs> I was like we need to share Thank like you. at least a bit together um, what I love from wasabi are these onigiris so i had a best friend in primary school who was japanese her name's remy she moved to japan when we were in year five 
but um she her mum used to make her these and i used to love them so her mum used to make them for me too the plain seaweed ones and the salmon ones and i love the salmon ones and i'd never seen them in any japanese restaurant and then when wasabi came to the uk they're a takeaway place they started they had these and it just gave me such nostalgia so i love this onigiri so much if you guys know anywhere else in london that does because today they didn't have any salmon left in stock so if you guys know anywhere else in london that does onigiri and it's really good let me know